right, so what we're looking at is the sky. Uh, the sky is basically cloud layers and they are here you go to uh, the in the, in the uh, create object and it's in other classes well it's also uh, on the main thing to in environment you got cloud layer and you got basic clouds now this is uh, cloud layer the one that I picked now there's four on here four cloud layers and when you add one you'll have an option to pick a texture now if I go to this location and I load that texture and give you an idea of what it looks like Uh, let's take try I picked the wrong damn thing. Uh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Desktop. Now this is Small Island. Small Island, well this is Ukraine track, but Small Island has its own sky stuff in it too. But if you go into clouds, um, I'm looking for the one that I got loaded here. Okay, this is the one that I got loaded. I don't even see anything. Oh, it's still loading. It's, I think it's an 8K texture, maybe. I'm not sure. It's taking a long time to load, ain't it? Let me open with my photo ed editing. Okay. So you see, it's just white. Uh, it is tileless, meaning like I went to filters, uh, map, map, tile seamless, so that it doesn't have any seams around the edges. And you see the checkerboard background means it's transparent, which a JPEG can't be transparent. Only like a PNG file can have an alpha channel or a... Uh, DDS file which if you're gonna make your own sky I would do like a 4k at least 4k 4096 by 4096 uh, is what I would pick I'd go to new uh, put 4096 by 4096 and right click on it if you're using GIMP and say add an alpha channel and just start you off with just like a white solid white color and then get you an eraser now this has different uh, I know you can't see that now I can't even see that let me make those larger I don't think I can make this little box any larger though but you got these different brush types in here that you can, you know, start erasing. Depending on how much force hardness, uh, depends on how much it erases. But you could do something kind of like this, I guess. Put spacing on a little higher so it kind of just randomly. Or maybe a smoke one would do better. I don't know, there's different ones that are raced differently. I think smoke would be the best one. There's one in here for smoke. Uh, 
there it is so it kind of erase all this repaint and I damn deleted the layer new layer transparency all right so yeah you can see how this kind of starts to look like you know clouds a little bit Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about adding color in here at all, because uh, you can do you do that in the uh, cloud editor. So we'll just kind of do something like this. Maybe do some smaller. See where you see checkerboard, that's completely transparent. Or not completely, but transparent. Completely transparent would be like all checkerboard with no grayish at all to it. But you, you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing here. So then you would go to uh, filters, uh, map, tile seamless. That'll get rid of your seams. Now we'll export this as a DDS file and the, uh, well I guess I'll put it in the level that I'm actually in now instead of, uh, I'll just stick it in the regular art folder and I'll just call this mysky.dds. And when you do this, you have to pick compression type BC3. Since it's got transparency, it's going to always use BC3 and tell it generate MIP maps. Now we'll go back to that level. Uh, I'm going to go to all the layers and turn them off, except for one. And this is the one, the texture, I'm going to pick that one that I just made. Ah, there it is. So this is the one that I just made. Um, right here. This is the one that I just did. And I got the time of day changing so quick so you can see the different color changes and stuff. But this is the exposure. And see, so you see these, those are the little ones that I just did. Like you saw me do those little ones right there, the little small holes. That's what that is. Now, if I didn't dial it seamless, you'd see a line going through where one end stops and one end begins. And like I said in here is where you can adjust the color and you can make whatever color you want. You know, make some alien planet if you want to. Some weird colors and whatnot. But you may not see the color until you change the exposure that you get the right color darkness or lightness the cover the coverage basically is how much it's uh, erasing which it doesn't quite look right it's more like alpha clip than it is an alpha blend it doesn't look good when you erase too much of it Alright, so then you can have multiple layers. Oh, you also got height. How high do you want it? Which, too high, it looks funny. It looks like you're inside of an egg, half of an egg, and you're looking up at the top of it. So if you stretch it out too far, it doesn't kind of look right. It does kind of look like Aurora Borealis, though, in a way, but... Uh, and too low you're not going to see it you'll see something crazy like that if you get it in the negative but you don't want it like that so and then you got the wind speed which basically is going to go either one direction or the other 
and it kind of parallaxes the texture so you see two different versions of it kind of going by one of these layers needs to be a normal map to look good I don't know if I explained it I had to stop the video a couple times but if you go into the skies you'll see one that says sky normals you may have a different one in your level uh, but when you add it it'll give the illusion that it is more of a 3d texture up there that is uh, floating around I don't really know how to explain a normal map other than it's a shader that gives something depth but uh, you should be able to tell they got that funny color like if you look at one of the textures they have this um, let's see if I can navigate there quickly no I didn't save the damn link alright so here's a normal map you'll know a normal map because they got the blue and the purple looking greenish teal color um, that's how you can tell when you're looking at a normal map I mean they're different than the other clouds <laughs> so you know that's your no normal map and that's what you can put it on it any any of the layers um, it's just if one of them's a normal it just gives it a better a better 3d look you know instead of just being kind of flat it's got more of a you know volume to it yeah you just put it in one of the texture slots for one of them and it's got its own settings you can adjust to get the exact look that you're trying to get whichever one you decide to use I think that's pretty much it on the clouds um, so now let's get to the Sun let me turn these back on or off rather now the sky that I add is if you go into here other classes type in Sun and uh, or I'm sorry scattered sky that's the one that I add so if you go into scattered sky uh, you'll see that the uh, the elevation is changing now when you create a scattered sky you need to make sure that you don't have other stuff also like you might have another kind of sky like there's different ones like if you search in here for sky there's a sky box there's a scattered sky I think there's even one just called Sun but that's not the ones I use I just use scattered sky you would just pick it and create uh, go to create right here and create one but since I already got it here I'm not gonna have to do that now the next thing is time of day you can type time to find time of day or if you don't have it in there you go to other classes which is in the object or I mean in the create object thing so you got environment which scattered skies in here also you don't have to go hunting for it uh, just remember I used cloud layer and scattered sky those are the main two that I used I didn't use basic Sun and I didn't use basic clouds so with scattered sky uh, also time of day I don't know if that's in here that's one you got to go to other classes and uh, type it time you just type time and you'll see time of day and just go to create and once you're in there you'll see what you see called play if you turn off play time will stand still that's the only way that you can change the scattered sky uh, sun's position 
which you can change where it's at in elevation time of day uh, one is where it's at this way and the other one is where it's at that way whether it's nighttime or daytime now I don't know how to get the moon on there I've seen the moon on here on other tracks I mean but I don't know how exactly to get it on mine you also got exposure how bright you want it you know uh, one is I think the default but I have dropped mine down to like 0.8 before because some of my own personal textures look too bright you also got sky brightness that you can adjust uh, overall brightness is kind of like the you know like a gamma curve I guess you could call it and then brightness is just more like your monitors brightness uh, you also got the sun size you can make the sun different sizes I never put it in the negative before I guess that kind of makes a black hole uh, colorize I don't really know how to use that much uh, the next thing is the uh, whether it casts shadows or not now the flare type you can go in and there's different flares depending on the level you're in there may be different ones for uh, there may be different ones in yours but they're basically lens flares um, the ones that have an effect on them then you got um, there's that I'll just uh, you got the size of the flare depending on how much of a flare lens flare you want occlusion scale I guess that's like the intensity one's the intensity and one is the scale of the actual uh, like you can have a larger scale one with a lower intensity or higher intensity depending on how much intense might be like if you're like out in space and you're close to the Sun I'd imagine which you know the Sun size like I said you can change that I don't know about this uh, that stuff there the me scattering whatever shadow type I've never fooled with this to be honest the different types of shadows in fact it won't let me change any of this so I don't know what that does texture size that would probably be the texture resolution for the shadow map yeah I just saw something change over here let me change it down real low like 128 Two, yeah, two's pretty bad. Two fifty-six. Add a zero. Add another zero. I don't want to crash it. <laughs> Shit. So I'll just say twenty forty-eight. Yeah, you probably won't be able to tell. Like on some things, it depends on how much it's casting the shadow and on what type of surface. It probably depends on it's the type of uh, how good it's going to look the distance I guess that's how far in the background things cast a shadow which 400 is not very far it's not close but it's not very far either I say 800 yeah I saw shadows appear on things back there uh, 2000 yeah now things way back there has got a shadow that'd be good for folks wanting to make them videos for YouTube I guess like those make the shadows more realistic shadow softness has it got a hard edge or if it's got a soft edge oh now you'll be able to tell the resolution on this this is where it's casting on here Let's see resolution texture size 128 124 or 1024 yeah you see the stair step 
2048. It's getting a higher resolution. 4096. 8192. You should probably start messing with your performance. You got it like that. I don't know how intense how intent these shadows are. Intense on the performance. Number of splits. Uh, that's probably how many uh, how many individual shadows from an object it can do but it'd be in one light source I will all know where that would really make much difference to be honest uh, you probably can adjust all the different lights I would think to have different ones like that I don't know I don't know how much uh, the uh, logarithm and the uh, distance factor. Now, yeah, see, I don't know about that stuff. Log weight. I don't know about that either. That that uh, log stuff. That's that's the only kind of log I know of. So I don't I don't know about that. Fade, start, distance, all that stuff. No idea. I haven't messed with any of this. You know this stuff that's just beyond the uses I've needed for uh, I did see another one somewhere like advanced shadow you know, and I'm sorry advanced lighting I'm not even sure what that was for if that's even in this one might have been in another setting so those are the basics those are the very basics with the sky um, the fog I don't the only thing I pretty much have ever done with the fog is just made it disappear completely because I don't much care for fog. Uh, but it wasn't even in this one that I fooled with it. I think I had a different one entirely. So that's pretty much all you need to get your sky going. Just your cloud layer and your scattered sky. And I would go through your scene tree and make sure that you don't have any others enabled that are uh, you know gonna uh, conflict with each other you know what I mean you don't want any of them con conflicting if we go over to the directory I might have already went in here, but like you got. Oh, let me go to the one of the game ones I know the game's got, uh, which just says Outrun, but it's actually Small Island. Go into the art folder. It should be a sky folder in here. Yeah, see those. That's the normal map, which that's what gives it that 3D-ish look. And then these are the clouds. Oh, yeah, I remember. I already went over because I showed you a couple of the clouds. And then I made a cloud. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you got any other questions.